Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Some of you probably know that I've recently done a couple videos on the latest incarnation of Adobe Bridge. After those videos posted, I received some feedback from people asking me to do more videos on Bridge and to specifically do some videos demonstrating how I would go about editing an image using Bridge. Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, for those of you not familiar with Adobe Bridge, it pretty much has the same functionality as the library module in Lightroom Classic. Because it's pretty much a library module, it doesn't have any editing capability built in. To edit images with Bridge, you need to use it in conjunction with Photoshop, specifically Camera Raw, which is part of Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. Also, if you have plugins on your system, you could use plugins with Bridge as well, and I'm going to show you how to do that too. Now, as you can see, I have an image opened up into Bridge. I'm in the Filmstrip workspace. This is the workspace I prefer to use because it kind of looks like Lightroom. And I have a Filmstrip at the bottom with the image. Now, this is an unedited RAW file. I need to do an edit on it. To do an edit on it, as I mentioned, we need to get it into Camera Raw. And those of you familiar with Photoshop know that usually there's like a dozen different ways to do the exact same thing. Well, Bridge isn't any different. There are several different ways to open this image up into Camera Raw. The two most common ways is just to right click right on the image and go down to Opening Camera Raw. The way that I do it, most often do it at least, is I go to the film strip itself and I double click on the image in the, in the film strip. And when you just do that, it will automatically open that image up into Camera Raw. Of course, it has to open Photoshop to do that. Once it's opened in Camera Raw, those of you not familiar with Camera Raw, it's pretty much got the same functionality as Lightroom Classic's Develop Module. This is where we would process the image non-destructively. Now, this isn't a video demonstrating how to use Camera Raw. If you want me to do a short video series demonstrating how to edit images in Camera Raw, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do it. But for this video, I'm just going to do a quick edit here with little explanation. Just know that it's pretty much the Develop Module. You can see there's basic curves, everything that's in develop modules over here. You have masking and red eye removal and healing and cropping and everything over here on the right. So it pretty much has the same thing. I'm going to just, as I mentioned, do a quick edit on this image. Nothing out of the ordinary. If you guys watch my videos, you know, I kind of edit pretty much the same way most of the time. Like this, this, like this and maybe a little vibrant. It's a little too blue, so I'm going to go to the curves, and I'm going to go to the blue curve, and I'm going to add a little yellow to it to get rid of some of that blue. And uh, doing a normal edit on this, I would probably use a mask and mask the sky and do some editing there, and then I'd use a mask to mask uh, the light tower or lighthouse and do some editing there, like add texture to it and stuff like that. And I'm just not going to do that here because, as I mentioned, this isn't a demonstration on how to use Camera Raw. Let's say this is an edit. I will go to effects, let's say, and just put a darker vignette on it. All right, so I'm done editing. Now you have the option to open it up into Photoshop. So if you need to do some compositing or something that you need Photoshop for, you could do that. Just click on open and it will open it up into Photoshop. If you're done editing and you just want to return back to bridge, just click done. When I click done, it will bring us back to bridge. It will not close Photoshop down, though. You can see Photoshop still open. So you need to close Photoshop down if you're done with Photoshop. Now, when we're back in Bridge, it may not look like it's edited. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you need to click on it, and then, like I just did, and there's our edit. So it's actually as easy as that. That's how you go about editing an image from Bridge, not in Bridge, I should probably say, because you're actually using Camera Raw in Photoshop. Now, I mentioned... You could edit this image using plugins. So if you have plugins installed on your system, plugins you usually use with Lightroom Classic, and you want to use them in Bridge, you could use them here. Now, to do that, again, there's a number of different ways to do it. The way I do it, because I'm always in the film strip workspace uh, in Bridge, I go down to this little image down here in the film strip, and I right-click on it. Then you see this up here, Open With. Go there, and then you see all my plugins here. And I'm just going to open up into Photo AI because that's a fast plugin to use. So I'm going to open this up into Photo AI and you'll click. Now you'll know, those of you who use Lightroom Classic know that when you typically use plugins there, 
Uh, it opens, you can't send the raw file, right? It's got to send a JPEG TIFF or PSD. Uh, that's not the case here. It's actually doing it different. It's not as uh, streamlined as Lightroom is when you do use plugins with um, Adobe Bridge, but in a way it's better. And um, you'll see in a moment. So uh, on this image here, it, it just basically said it needed noise removed. That's fine. I'm not going to do anything special here. There's before, after. There is some noise in there. I could go down maybe and zoom a little more. I don't know, maybe zoom in even more. And there's before, after, before, after. You can see how it removed noise. All right, so I'm just going to save the image. Click Save. Now, this is where I think it's a little better. We have the option to save it to a specific file format and to a specific place on our computer. Um, you know, when you use a plugin, a typical plugin, now there are ways to use plugins in Lightroom Classic where you could send a DNG file um, that, you know, but that isn't the, I guess, the more common way, the more common way. And not all plugins work that way. Uh, most plugins in Lightroom, you have to use edit in and then it's going to be a JPEG or TIFF or a PSD file. Um, here, with the plugins, you'll come up and you have to save it from the plugin, and I'm going to save it as a DNG, so it keeps the raw format. I'll use their default file name, and I want to save it to the original folder. Saving it to the original folder means that when I'm in Bridge, Bridge will see it, and it will know it's there. If I save it to a different folder, I'd have to go inside a Bridge and navigate to that folder for Bridge to show it, you know, at all. So I'm just going to click save. All right, now you can see there's a progress bar here. Now similar to Photoshop, uh, once this is done here, it doesn't close down uh, Photo AI, in this case the plugin. You have to manually do that. So well, once it's done, it's still saving and it's done. We'll close this window. You can see that Photo AI is still open. We'll go up and close Photo AI. And now you'll see down here in the film strip, we have two images. We have that original Nikon RAW file, and then right next to it, we have the image from um, Topaz Photo AI, and you can see that's a DNG. So that's it. That's really all you need to know about doing edits inside of uh, Adobe Bridge. Uh, typically, uh, when you're in this film strip workspace, you could right click on it, open in Camera Raw. When you want to use it as a plugin, you could go to the um, image in the film strip, right click on it, and go to open with. There also is open with on the file menu. I think it's in the edit menu or the view menu or the stacks menu. I'm here. Some, here it is. It's in the file menu open with. You could do it that way as well. But I usually just right click on the image. I don't have time to go up to those menus. So that's it. Any other videos you want me to do on Adobe Bridge, let me know in the comments. If you want me to do a short video series on how to edit using Camera Raw? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.